Hey everybody, this is Harry. Long time no see again. Feeling a bit under the weather, as usual. Nothing new. Anyways, the gang, the gentlemen, a few people are doing top 10 list again. Getting in the swing of things. And they're doing the top 10 horror sequels. Their top 10 favorite horror sequels. Yeah, and this is a this was a hard one for me because I'm not a horror fan. I have not watched a ton of horror movies, and um, um, so it's gonna be I I struggled with the top ten list a little bit. So, um, and there's some really there's a couple of old ones in here, um, but these are my favorite, and um. So I'll just go through them quickly and not bore you um, if you're a horror fan. But and tell me what you think of these anyways. That, um, so at number 10 I have the, which I just watched recently because I um, was talking to my daughter Vicky and she's a big horror fan. And I had told mention to her I had never seen the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, the original or any of its sequels, except for a remake. I, I've watched the early 2000 remakes, which for some reason I owned it on DVD, um, but uh, but I'd never seen the original. So she had the originals on DVD uh, and the sequels. So I watched them. I, I, I got the fourth one to watch. But um, out of the three I've watched so far, the second one was my favorite. Um, so that w w is my favorite from that franchise. Uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 from 1986, uh, directed by Tobey Hooper. Uh, Dennis Hopper's in it. Uh, and like everybody talks about, his over-top acting and all that. And I guess that, that was just part of the um, his character for the film. So, uh, weird, weird, weird. I don't know how people watch these films. They're just crazy. But they enjoy people getting murdered and massacred. So, uh, number nine, uh, Halloween 2 from 1981. Rick Rosenthal. Uh, I watched this recently, I think, nearly earlier this year or sometime last year. It was the first time I watched it. I only watched the first Halloween movie not too long ago. Look, hold on. All right, my grandson's out here now. And the mail lady pulled up at the same time. Hi. Yeah, I'm talking to my friends on YouTube. So Halloween 2, I just watched recently. Halloween, I just watched a couple of years ago when I bought my daughter a, a, a box. Uh, it was the 30th anniversary. It had the mask in it. And um, so that was the first time I watched that. So Halloween 2. Uh, and number 8, Jaws 2 for 1978. Uh, directed by Jeanette Swartz. I guess you want to call that a horror film. Um, I looked it up and it says it was a horror thriller. So, Jaws 2, uh, Rob Schneider, out of the four, because I've seen all four before, and I just bought them on Blu-ray, the rest of them, because I, I was lacking them in my collection. Um, this is the better of the sequels. Um, never, no one, Nothing's ever going to top the original Jaws, of course, but two is better of, 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 out of three and four, especially four. Uh, number seven, The Conjuring 2 from 2016, directed by James Wan. I like that one. A lot more creepier than the, the first Conjuring. Enjoyed that. The, uh, the, the Enfield Incident, I think that's what it was originally called. Um, so I really enjoyed that, those films. I've actually finished watching all of that series that has been released so far. I, I, that was one of my projects. Kind of open up, open, watch a little bit more horror-themed stuff. And so I, I just started watching The Conjuring, and now I'm watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre um, films. And then we'll see what goes on after. Actually, I'm going to watch the Jaws ones again. So um, <coughs> kind of refresh myself on the Jaws. Uh, number six, Evil Dead 2, 1987, Sam Raimi. Uh, to be honest, I haven't seen Army of Darkness yet. So I saw Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. I prefer... Evil Dead 2, I like that one. Uh, number 5, Dr. Fobbs Rises Again from 1972, uh, directed by Robert Fust, uh, starring Vincent Price. 
which is uh, the sequel to the abominable Mr. Dr. Fibes. Uh, kind of a weird film, but I quite enjoyed it. Um, probably a little bit more than I did the original. Uh, number four, Damien Omen 2 from 1978. Don Taylor, actually, my The Omen is my favorite horror type film. Uh, always has been since I was a little kid. And, um, yeah, I, I like this one a lot uh, better than the other ones. Um, I think Jay likes the third one. Um, this one stars William Holden instead of Gregory Peck, because you know what happened with Gregory Peck. You know? Touchy. One. Yeah, touchy. I see yeah, The Exorcist, uh, at number three, The Exorcist 3, which I watched last year. My daughter Vicky uh, got me to watch it. She told me not even bother to watch two. Uh, directed by William Peter Blatty, the, the author, um, and stars George C. Scott. And quite enjoyed this film. I probably this is probably one I want to pick up on Blu-ray uh, eventually. Uh, number two, A Nightmare on Elm Street Three, Dream Warriors, uh, and uh, who's that? Charles Chuck Chuck Russell directed that one. I uh, always liked that one. I always liked the third one. The first and the third one has always been my favorites of the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street films. And number one, The Bride of Frankenstein, 1935. Uh, you know, directed by James Weld and, and Boris Karloff. And uh, Elsa Lanchester, who was, uh, who was uh, the wife of Charles Lawton. And uh, favorite horror film of all time, The Bride of Frankenstein, 835. Or not a wimp. Just love those universal monsters. So, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, i got to keep an eye on my grandson. My daughter will be home soon. Short video. Thank you for watching. Tell, tell me what your favorite horror movies are, your sequels, um, what you think of the pics I have. Um, comments are always welcome, as Gray1951 says. Bye.